welcome to my new video. In order to remove and delay the signs of aging, daily skincare and the right sunscreen products should be used. We know this now. However, beyond all these applications, factors such as smoking, pollution, solar UV irritation, stress, nutrition, diet, physical activity, controlling general health status are effective on aging. The factors allow us to have a healthy body. Our skin is the showcase of a healthy body. For this reason, it is very important to eliminate the external factors that cause aging and to regulate the lifestyle and habits if we want a well-aged younger looking skin. I have prepared a series for this purpose. This series of changes to your diet consists of 5 steps to help you look and feel great. These are simple tips that can make a big difference if what you eat and after two weeks of following these tips i can assure you you'll look and feel much better step one stay away from sugar from time to time you may have thought you have a sweet crisis if i say name of ice cream do you crave sweet why what's going on in your brain sugar actually the building blocks of carbohydrate molecules that turn into sugar when broken down. Sugars are found in most foods and beverages. Glucose, fructose, sucrose, maltose, lactose, dextrose and starch all are forms of sugar. So are high fructose corn syrup, juice and honey. Sugar is not only found in candies and deserts, it's also found in tomato paste, yogurt, dried fruits and fruit sodas. It is hard to resist them as sugar is pretty much everywhere. So how does sugar affect the brain and make us go into a crisis from time to time as if we were an addict? Is it really addictive? And does eating a little sugar lead to eating more? In addition to the claims that it creates addiction, it is also said that it accelerates aging and causing wrinkles. Are these accusations true? Let's try to answer these questions by looking at what sugar does in our brain. What happens when sugar hits your tango? You ate a spoonful of Nutella. The sugar it contains activates the sweet test receptors, one of the receptors on your tango. These receptors send signals to the brain stem and from there to the forebrain and cerebral cortex. Different parts to the cerebral cortex manage different tests, bitter, salty and sweet. Here the signal activates the brain's reward mechanism. The reward mechanism consists of several complex different areas of the brain, electrical and chemical pathways, and helps answer subconscious questions, should I do this again? For example, in the face of this question, the reward center comes into play and answer, yes, you have to eat again. Or, for example, you tested a test that took you back to your childhood. The reward mechanism is still active in that warm and uncertain feeling you create. This reward center system is not only activated by food, socialization, sexual behavior and drugs are also different examples that activate the reward mechanism. However, too much activation of this system can trigger a number of undesirable events lose of control, cravings over and over, and the increased sugar tolerance. The great reward for our reward mechanism is dopamine. Dopamine is an important chemical and neurotransmitter. There are too many dopamine receptors in the forebrain. Dopamine is our hormone that gives us joy and pleasure in life. The reward mechanism is dopamine, in other words. We can think of this forebrain as a circle of our dopamine reward mechanism. Chemicals such as alcohol, nicotine or heroin cause dopamine overload. If I have to make a smile when a person experiences a happy event, for example, if he has achieved a success, 
is in love or is experiencing an exciting event, the dopamine level may be 2 or 3 out of 10, while this level increases to 10 out of 10 when he takes a drug such as cocaine. You can reach the dopamine level that your body cannot go through with chemicals. But in the following process, nothing normal starts to give you pleasure. And it is addictive by making people want to want it again and again. Sugar also causes the release of dopamine, although it is not excessive like chemicals. For example, broccoli or leeks have no effect on dopamine. To better understand the issue, let's say you are hungry and decide to eat a balanced meal. You have high dopamine levels at this moment, but if you eat the same food day after day, the dopamine level will decrease and eventually settle down. This is because when it comes to food, your brain pay attention to new or different flavors. You ask why? There are two reasons. First, to take spoiled food and second, to diversify what you eat to get all the nutrition you need. In order to provide this diversity, we must be able to recognize new tests and more importantly, we must want to try new tests. What happens if you eat a high sugar meal instead of healthy balanced meal? If you are consuming sugary foods occasionally or eating less, the effect will be similar to the meal. If you are eating too much, the dopamine response level is not stabilized. In other words, you keep eating to feel rewarded. In this respect, sugary foods act like drugs. The more you eat, the more they feel like eating. This is why people seem addicted to sugar. I think we understand why sugar can be addictive. Let's talk about why we need to reduce sugar intake for younger and wrinkle-free skin. I don't know if I am exaggerating if I say sugar accumulates wrinkles. You will agree with me when you explain the mechanism. Sugar ages us prematurely in two ways. First, eating a lot of sugar causes sugar spikes in your blood and with the increase in sugar, your pancreas releases insulin. In response to sugar spikes and insulin spikes, your body may have inflammation. Chronic insulin spikes accumulate chronic inflammation. And inflammation is one of the drivers of aging in our bodies. The second reason that eating sugar can cause us to age prematurely and give us bad skin is the glucation process. Glucation is the term that describes the attachment of a carbohydrate to another biomolecule such as protein, lipid or DNA. Aging research shows that processes related to sugar glucation contribute significantly to the deterioration of tissues, that is, to the acceleration of aging. When you eat sugar during glucation, these sugar molecules attach to your skin's collagen, causing that collagen to shrink further. However, if you want our skin to be wrinkle-free and smooth, the collagen in the skin structure must also be flat and smooth. That's why we really need to stay away from sugar. By sugar, we mean not only tea sugar, sweet desserts and sweeteners, but also carbonated drinks or white bread. A carbohydrate that passes into the blood as glucose is essentially a sugar derivative. Sodas and white bread have a similar glycemic index and are quite high because their effects on blood sugar are similar. A sudden rise in the glycemic index means a rise in insulin. This will cause inflammation. Yes, we should stay away from sugar for these reasons in order not to develop addiction-type feelings and to look younger and feel healthy. I will take about other steps of this series which include changes in your diet in my other videos. Thank you for your attention and listening to me. See you in the next video. Bye, stay healthy!